this video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome back for another Minecraft 1.8 snapshot. This is 14W11B, and we've got tons of awesome new features to talk about, including a brand new monster, improvements to Mob AI, and faster minecarts, as you just saw. So let's get into it here. Now, minecarts are more than three times as fast as they were in the past. It's insane. And not only that, but they actually have improved physics. They go faster and farther when they travel. They have improved collision and position handling, but they have a few quirks, such as uh, the fact that they can derail, as you just saw. They will fly off the tracks if they go around a corner too fast. And they also have problems going over hills. You can do stuff like slow them down with non-powered rails and stuff like that but they're a little quirky and very odd. Now, the other cool thing with minecarts is that the furnace minecart has been much improved. If you don't remember these things, which I don't blame you because they don't really have a use in the past, uh, you put them down, you can put coal in it and they will actually power, they're powered minecarts, but now they actually knock a minecart super far. They will put a lot of force behind it. So as you saw, this one would just go you know, around that bend if it was normally going, but if I hit it with the powered one, it just flies so fast that it goes off the track onto that one. It's pretty cool, so they actually have a use now, which is nice. But just the fact that minecarts are so fast now and so insane to ride on, it's it's going to be awesome to mess around with these. It's going to break a lot of previously made tracks, unfortunately, but I think it'll be better in the long run because we can travel a lot faster and do some cool stuff. Also, as you saw here, if it's going fast enough, it can actually hopscotch over little gaps very easily, so that's pretty cool. But let's move on here. If you notice, these portals are a little strange. If you make a, a, a three-wide portal, I, I notice that you can actually break it and keep the rest of the portal going. And I even removed the obsidian, and this portal is still here, this little block. So that's probably a bug. Let's get to the new mob, though. This is what you guys are probably here to see. This is the new mob egg, and here is the new mob, the Endermite. So it's kind of a silverfish variation, but it's actually got a lot of quirks and interesting uh, things to it. So it has these little particles that pop off. It's wiggling around. It's just wiggling all cool. Uh, it's linked to the Enderman, though, and people are theorizing this is kind of like a parasite. So let's go into the end so I can show you this a little easier. Enderman will actually have a 15% chance of spawning an Endermite when it teleports. So if I shoot a couple of these, hopefully we can get one to spawn here. There we go. There's one. And now this little guy, look at them. They're all going after it. So <laughs> Endermen hate Endermites. That's another reason why people think it might be a parasite. They will kill them on site. So every time an Endermite spawns, it lowers the chance of an Enderman spawning another one by 1%. So now there's a 14% chance that these guys will spawn it. Uh, now 13. So to keep going down, these guys will only survive for about two minutes before they despawn. But it's a way to kind of uh, aggro Endermen. You can get them into one spot if you have one of these, maybe with a name tag to keep it from despawning. So this would be cool for Enderman farms to, you know, corral them into a, a single area. Now, Jinnerbone is a little hush on what these things are actually going to be for, but he did tweet that he has an ultimate plan for them, and it might actually include the dragon egg, which is crazy. We haven't seen any, you know, changes to the dragon egg since it was introduced way back in the beta, but uh, a lot of people are theorizing that maybe an Endermite might fertilize a dragon egg or go into it like the silverfish go into the blocks and maybe that will cause another dragon to spawn or maybe the endermite is like a baby dragon they're a little glitchy right now this guy's gonna just block my arrows because he's all glitching out do his little tails flapping back and forth but yeah they're, they're pretty cool to mess around with the endermen also are a bit faster now i think that's because they go chase after stuff but they kind of walk uh very quickly when they're traveling around so that's a cool little quirk uh mob AI update with them. See you guys. I'm going to go down here so we go back to the overworld. So, all right. So here we are. Yeah, the Endermite, I'm, I'm curious to see where he goes. He's, he's similar to the Silverfish, but I like the idea that they're improving the end and I want to see where they go with it. So I'm very excited to see what happens with those little guys. Now, you can actually change some, some tags to do Endermite count. Uh, you can change the value if you don't want them in your world or you want to have them spawn more often, stuff like that. So they've already thought ahead for people who don't want them or want to see more of them. Now, I mentioned other mob AI updates. I'm going to finish with the creeper because this is probably the coolest one. But there are some quirks with mobs, including uh, there's word that spiders actually swim and handle water a lot better, which is cool. Silverfish, like their Endermite brethren, have been improved. They will walk around and occasionally they'll stop, kind of look around, and then choose where to move again. See if one of them will do it. 
There we go, that guy stopped for a second, then he turned around. In the past, silverfish were kind of like sharks. They would just keep moving. They had to keep moving, keep swimming, <laughs> and walking. Uh, but yeah, now they uh, they don't wiggle as much. They just stop, look around, and then go again. So they're a little bit more, you know, behaving like normal mobs. And slimes now, they're a little quirkier. I noticed their jump height seems to vary a lot more, and it's a little bit more random. So if we go into survival, oops, didn't mean to teleport here. We can do another crazy minecart ride down this hill so you can see just how fast this thing is. We'll be down there in a second. But yeah, the, the slimes hops are a little bit uh, more different than they, they were in the past. They're kind of more random, and they're a lot more unpredictable when you're fighting one. So I'll see if I can fight one here. I'm also going to spawn some creepers because I mentioned the creeper is probably the coolest of the mob AI updates. So let's drop down here. I'll grab my sword and we will go back into survival mode and try to fight these. So if you watch, the slimes kind of come at me. They, they seem pretty fast and they also have varying jump heights a little bit. So that's kind of cool. Now the creepers, this is what I wanted to show you. If I was to go near a creeper and one starts to explode, there we go. The other ones will actually run away because they're terrified. They don't want to get blown up with their buddies. So I'll trigger this one. The other one's going to run. <laughs> so that's a cool little quirk. And it's actually going to make creepers a lot more difficult to fight because uh, in the past you could have a bunch of them all form up. One would blow up. It would kill all of the creepers. But now the other ones have more self-preservation. They won't just suicide and they will, uh, you know, they'll run away and then you have to deal with more creepers uh, more quickly. So that's kind of interesting. Now, another thing I forgot to mention about the Endermite, I do have some of these in my, my little inventory here, Ender Pearls. So you don't just have to see them if by uh, having an Enderman teleport. You can actually use an Ender Pearl, and if you use enough of these, eventually you will see one spawn where you where the pearl lands. It will pop out an Endermite. So this is kind of a, it's a very rare chance to see one of these guys, but they can pop out of it. There we go, we got one. So here he is, and uh, yeah, so be careful when you're teleporting around with your Ender Pearl. That can cause an Endermite to spawn. So some of the other things, real quick, you might have noticed these bricks look a little crazy. They're super detailed now. I'm actually using a resource pack by the Mog Miner, who's one of Mojang's developers, and he's been working on block models, and he's done a few things, like he's working on being able to customize the brewing stand model. You'll see this fence gate actually has the little holes in it when you throw it on the ground, just improving the way the models work. And he decided to make a resource pack that actually makes little indentations in the chiseled stone brick and the normal bricks here, the clay bricks. And the clay bricks ones, I think, look amazing. They're really cool to see. This isn't really that uh, performance intensive. It hasn't, you know, slowed down my snapshot really at all, but it looks really good. And he has also improved the lighting with this now, so you can kind of see little shadows and stuff in parts of the blocks. They look really nice. And I hope we get, maybe in the future, a fancy, you know, a more fancy texture option to use some of these more advanced models. But for now, this is a thing for resource packs, but it looks really cool. I like the way they're headed with the customization for that. So some other improvements real quick. If you go into F3, you'll notice on the right, there's actually a little thing that changes depending on what block I look at. And it does stuff like, if I was to look at a grass block, right now it says snowy false, but if I look at this one, it says snowy true. It's actually telling me about the state of each of these blocks. So there's this pressure plate, it says zero. If I stand on it, it now says one. The redstone says power zero, but if it's powered, it tells me how much power is in the redstone, whether a door is open or not, stuff like that. So it's it's just kind of a part of coding the, the, the blocks and different, you know, items in the game so that you can see their state rather than using metadata. So it's basically just ways to improve the game, I believe. But you can also do useful stuff like being able to see how much power a redstone signal has will be actually useful for someone who's building something with redstone. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, that's mainly it this week. Uh, I love the fast minecarts. The Endermite is very interesting. I really want to see what else they do to improve the end and see where they go with that little guy. And of course, those mob AI updates are really cool. The Creeper one is awesome. So these are some of those survival features they were promising, and hopefully we'll get more in the future here very soon. Game Developers Conference is coming up, and after that, we're going to get 176 to get the new skins. And uh, past that, though, we're going to have to see what's coming up. But I'm very excited. More survival features coming, more adventure things to do as Dinnerbone has promised. Thank you guys for watching. As always, please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I really appreciate you guys watching, and you can help me out by leaving a like, subscribing if you haven't, that sort of thing. I will see you guys, though, next time for some more Minecraft Snapshot updates. Goodbye.